Hey you guys, so we are back in Sarasota. Long story short, I had a friend from Lincoln, Nebraska, reach out to me and send this really cool Airbnb on Anna Maria Island and we connected with the owners. She asked if we wanted to go stay and it just worked out perfectly to be kind of a family baby moon or one last hurrah before baby is here. We're gonna stop at the mall, grab some grub, and then we're gonna go check out this really cool Airbnb on the beach. You guys are really gonna like it. Let's go. Okay, you guys, this is the coolest place. Everyone in the pool. And we're going in the pool. Oh. Like Erin just said, she's like, it's so well intentioned. Isn't this a dream? Yes. On my way to the grocery store real quick to grab some berries, some bananas, maybe some frozen fruit, maybe some frozen greens. We're gonna be able to make our standard breakfast that we love, some oatmeal, some fresh fruit, some smoothies. It doesn't take a lot, it's super easy, and it's what we stick to even when we're traveling or on vacation. So I am about to make us a smoothie. We didn't bring all of our ingredients, but they did have a Vitamix. We were sure to bring our Sun Warrior protein. Really all we need is some bananas and some other fruit and some type of greens. Especially when we travel and we're on the go, we try to keep food even simpler than we do at home. And fruit is literally nature's fast food. So we always just grab apples, bananas, oranges. They're the ones that are already pre-packaged by nature. And then we rinse some berries, put them in a Tupperware. And like I said, it's just super simple and straightforward. The kids love their fruit, so we never have to worry about picky eating if there's fruit on hand. Our green smoothie at home probably has like 15 ingredients between superfoods and fruits and veggies, but keeping it simple for a one night stay on the go. Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend is our absolute must have. So you guys can always use Eat Move Rest for 20% off any Sun Warrior products. You can get an even better discount if you buy one of the bundles but they have tons of great things that we'd love to add into our smoothies and into our daily supplement regimen. Keeping it simple, we've got a massive fruit smoothie in the works with fresh bananas, frozen spinach, mango, a ton of berries, a generous heaping scoop of Sun Warrior vanilla protein, and then we're gonna do a big spread of fresh fruit. We've got watermelon, apples, oranges, bananas, and berries. Cannot wait to dig in. decided to copy Max and I poured my smoothie into a bowl with fruit on top. The bananas that we got were not super ripe, so. Why when you get like a smoothie or an acai bowl from like 
a shop, they never taste quite as good. And I see the bananas they're adding in and they're never ripe. It makes a difference. So make sure your bananas are leopard spotted, speckled and freckled before you freeze them. And also peel them before you freeze them. Be that's definitely a rookie mistake we made. There's no way to peel a frozen banana. <laughs> what do you guys think? You want a house tour? Like an official one? This place is so beautiful. Beautiful. Really beautiful. It's so in alignment with what Aaron and I are trying to do with our current house and the other houses that we're, we're building down south. If we could do like the structure of our house with these finishes, it would be an absolute dream home. It, it's already a dream home and we're like a block from the beach. Would you guys be into a day retreat here or like a workshop? If you guys would be into that, definitely let us know in the comments below. Of course, it's important to us to live in a space that is optimized for health and well-being. And something we've noticed and what we've tried to replicate in our own home is a sense of intentionality behind every piece that we have in our home and just the energy we bring into the home itself. So when we stayed on Longboat Key in that vacation rental before we bought a home in Florida, the owner actually told us when they built the house, she had placed Bible verses in the walls of the home. And here in this house, we were informed ahead of time that when the cleaning crew comes through, they actually clear the energy in the space before transitioning to a new guest. And she just wanted us to be mindful coming into the space that they were very intentional about keeping the energy positive and life-giving and i think it really set the tone we even had a quick chat with the kids before we set foot into the home just to kind of remind them that let's be very respectful let's take care of things let's take our shoes off and let's really try to just be nice to each other and get along and be calm and peaceful i just think it's really important to like i said be intentional in your living space we're going to take you guys on a quick walk through of this beautiful home there's just so much to look at and take in, yet at the same time, because everything is so white and bright, it feels really simple and clean. We got here late last night, but this morning it was so bright when we woke up. We've always wanted skylights in our home, in our forever home, maybe someday, but it really makes all the difference. Natural light is just unbeatable. When we were exploring, we were kind of excited to find that the refrigerator is hidden it just makes everything look so much more streamlined. We've got like a really fancy water filtration system. You can get boiling water, ice cold water, flat or sparkling on tap. I can't tell you for how long I've been asking Dusty, can, is there any way we can frame our TV and make it look like a piece of artwork when it's not on? Because I like everything to be like white and bright and the black box on the wall kind of bothers me. And when we walked in, there was a piece of artwork illuminated on the wall and it's the TV. <laughs> Super cool, they have a built-in spot for the iPad on the wall. You can select music and temperature and all the things. These cutouts are very Pinteresty. Even really cool, interesting, unique light switches and fixtures like on all the faucets and things like that just make a world of difference. We also really love the beds. It's just the mattress, but they built these platforms, which is kind of cool. And then like the open closet space, super beautiful. The whole house feels very Bali or maybe like Australia. Another guest bedroom in here. The arched windows, the arched wall cutouts, the mirrors. I just love it so much. So it's like nice to have kind of more organic shapes when it comes to your decor so that it makes a modern house feel a little bit less rigid and more free flowing. So it's like the perfect blend of like fresh, clean, modern, but also organic. This is really cool. This massive door right here goes right out to the pool. So you can get out of the pool and come into this bathroom and shower off here. They have these really unique wall mounted trash cans, these cool like European toilets. And again, the best light fixtures, the best sinks, skylights everywhere. So we're switching off because I love this type of stuff too. And we're laughing because the kids were saying that this light looks like a funny like Three Stooges haircut. And while it is the coolest light fixture, we can't unsee it now and it's so funny. But this kitchen is amazing, again, the giant 
doors, the sliders that look out over the pool and all the landscaping. They've got these amazing doors in the master bedroom and then coming into the master bathroom. The one thing that I always talk about, and, and you guys know if, whether we're at our house or any house, is the lighting. The lighting in this place is unreal. Like Aaron mentioned, the skylights, but at night, it's the dimmers, it's the lighting above the bed, it's the lighting up here in the skylight that comes on at night. It just sets a tone, it's the ambiance, and it's so important. I just talked about sleep the other day in one of my other videos and how important it is to block blue light and dim the lights down at night. It just gives the whole house a vibe. The owners also use avocado mattresses, organic of course, like ours. So again, really, really cool things. Stepping into the master bathroom, this is my favorite space. So no joke, the kids took a bath last night and typical dad style, I had to reuse their dirty hot water and then I went outside for a cold outdoor shower unreal really love this space so the light is labeled closet but it's a secret kids room check this out when we got in last night the kids lost their minds bunk beds they got to jump and play and who needs a closet when you're vacationing anyway this is a perfect idea there's stars that shoot up at the ceiling just unreal you guys this place is my favorite doing? I'm peeling um, um, a coconut. You want to hold this and talk? Hey mom! I'm going to be gracious. You're going to be gracious? Mm -hmm. See that's the eclipse. Come here. Do you think that the baby's going to be a boy or a girl? Girl. Okay you guys we are sitting and out back this. right now. We actually just finished our EMR, our Eat, Move, Rest group chat. We talked about like architecture and how beneficial and essential having a clean and beautiful living space is for health. I remember back in college, Aaron and I were both saying like, when I lived in like a crappy apartment, I always felt like crap. And I would go home to my parents' house and or I would go to another friend's house that was nice and clean and I would just feel better. Now, some of these are like, duh, obvious things. But I've noticed that with the houses that we've lived in from the paint color to the furniture to whether or not it's clean or dirty, like these things affect me. And then recently we were listening to this guy talk about how everything has a frequency from the vegetables to the fabrics that you wear. Like wearing linen clothes or sleeping in linen sheets versus cotton and polyester workout clothes and apparently linen and wool are like super high vibe, right? They're super high vibrational. Anyway, this is a big long rant. You guys could actually join the, the club and be a part of these conversations live or go back and watch the replays. But I wanna hear from you guys. like. What do you think? Are these things real? Like feng shui, like the space that you inhabit, the clothes that you wear, going beyond the kale, like is our health affected? I definitely think so. So we are just kind of winding down on our little baby moon. We're probably gonna take off and head back home this evening. I am getting a little bit anxious being away from our nest, I guess. I was feeling a little bit crampy and who knows what that means. I don't feel like it's gonna happen like tonight or tomorrow necessarily. Maybe it'll still be two weeks. Let's see if we can feel the baby move. You really think it's a girl? And Biff thinks it's a boy. <laughs> we just don't know. But again, all day yesterday, Biff was saying, it's a boy, it's a boy, so matter of factly. But we'll find out. The kids are making dinner tonight. Liv's fixing me a seashell salad. She said there's salt in it. I'm not sure what else is going into it yet, but it looks delightful. <laughs> so we just got off of our Eat Move Rest Club inner circle Zoom call that we do once a week. And we were talking about so much beyond just 
the kale or what's on our plates, like always tends to be the case with our inner circle group. So what are other ways we can elevate or amplify our health and our well-being, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally. And it's not always easy, but there are so many things that we can do beyond food. So I feel like coming here, we planned less around food than we ever have. And we planned most around rest because we also didn't get in our fitness the past couple of days. And it was really supposed to be just an intentional time to take as a family of four to truly slow down and we most definitely have. What we're intending to do here is to not just be glued to screens and in work mode or in entertainment mode, but to really just take in life's simpler pleasures and to be awe inspired. And this home, when we walked into it, feels like heaven on earth. And then we step outside into this backyard oasis where we feel like we're in Bali and the kids are making their salads and they're just being creative and free-spirited and open-minded. And it's just a reminder to us as parents to be more the same, to not rely so much on technology or on stimulation from food and fitness and screen time and work, but to just really get rooted back in nature and what really matters. And like I said, slowing down can feel a little bit anxiety inducing in especially this American like culture where we are expected to just go, 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 go. So it's really been like a good reminder to be okay with doing less and slowing down and maybe feeling like lower energy isn't necessarily lower vibrational. In fact, it can be the opposite. And I feel like I'm really gonna come away from this place like I do every time we go on a little trip anywhere. There's just so much beauty in the world. Sometimes we get stuck in our own little bubble, in our own little nest, just thinking the, this is it. This is how life is. This is how the world works. This is the way things look and feel. And as soon as you take a risk, which I was almost about to say, I don't even know if we should go. I'm feeling a little nervous and anxious about it. But I'm so glad we did just because you, your world expands so quickly. Even just driving an hour from home or 20 minutes from home sometimes. There are so many beautiful places that are untouched by man. And I know that's a whole separate kind of beauty. But this, what man can create with the, a creative mind, it's just so incredible. Um, and it just has reignited that passion within us to continue creating spaces that are intentional like this for ourselves and inspiring you guys and others to do the same because I feel like it really truly feeds your soul. It's like soul food. Um, it feels like a place where you have more of an opportunity to tap into your spiritual and emotional state, to feel connected to God. Baby could be here any day and I just am feeling ready and rested, especially after this trip. I'm just excited to go home, get back into our routine and just play things by ear. So keep us in your prayers. If you wanna stay up to date on a weekly basis, join us in our Eat, Move, Rest Club. We're always on our live Zoom calls. It's so fun to connect with you guys. Today's was a really, really good one. We might actually have to share it just because there was so much. We'll see you next week, maybe with a baby, who knows? <laughs>